So he's saying that Rise was about someone who was dying of AIDS. Oh, wow. A man, and I was sort of a primary caregiver for him. He was always picking on me, always on my ass, because I didn't know how to do the laundry for him. <laughs> but yeah, that was for him. It has a simple theme, let's not die. It's showtime, folks. and welcome to another episode of Into the Music. My name is Greg, and I'm going to react to a song by uh, American Music Club, and the song is Rise, and this is requested by Roland D. Roland, how are you? Thank you so much for making this request on my Kopi site. Uh, yeah, and it means that I guarantee that I'm going to react to this. I can't guarantee I'm going to like it, um, but so I got to be honest. But we'll see. Um, Rise, you gave me two song choices, and I went with Rise. So uh, we'll see if the song rises to the occasion. The things we love don't give us too much hope. When you've lost your appetite, you're sick and tired. Maybe what you need is some food for your eyes to make them rise. Again, 90s. I'm getting 90s sound. Early 90s. That's cool. Something beautiful flash before your Yeah, that was cool. You know, they re they remind me of a band. I'll actually say that for the other side, but they remind me of a band that is very obscure. <laughs> and I just did, well, not just, but like maybe two, three months ago, um, I did a reaction to them, uh, to a song that I actually love from 1990. 
and I will tell you about that song in the band. But this band reminds me of that band. Uh, but this is good. Yeah, so let me gather some information uh, about the band, the song, and yeah, and I will see everyone talk with everyone on the other side. Yeah, I think the song rose to the occasion. Yeah, it it was it was good. It was a good first listen. Um, and I need to get back to it, you know, and listen to it again. Um, it had that sort of '90s alt rock feel. Um, there was a band that came out of Ireland back in the early '90s, uh, an emotional fish, and they had a song "Celebrate" that I love, and I actually reacted to that song. I mean. It, I go back with that song a long time, but every once in a while, I'll kind of do songs on this channel, like as sort of, you know, reminiscent. And um, yeah, and so that sound from that band, it sounded like this, or this band sounded like that, whatever, um, which is which is fine, because if I like Emotional Fish, and I'm saying this band sounds like them. Uh, so yeah, just like kind of the bass, it's kind of like a, like it's kind of a tapping kind of sound almost, and um, the the guitars too, you know, um, and produced too, like sort of, um, I don't know, it's almost like in a sort of far away kind of way, you know, the guitars, I was hearing them, um, but overall, yeah, has that alt rock sound 90. So we'll see how right I am about that because I have information pulled up, um, but I like the voice. Uh, the instrumentation is really fine. You know, I mean, nothing in the song really jumped out and grabbed me, you know, and like, oh, my God, I got to have put it on a playlist. But um, but it was good. It was a good first listen. Yeah. So let me get into information about the band. And Roland, in your comments, um, you know, drop a comment about like what connected you to the song, to this band. Um, actually, you gave me two song choices that went with this one. But yeah, definitely let me know um, what attracted you. Like, how far back do you go with this band? I'm going to find out now. Let's see, American Music Club Wiki. And it's telling me that, wow. Wow, eight, 1982 to 1994. So they go back a long way. And then they broke up or whatever, went on, went on hiatus uh, until 2004. And that second go around lasted until 2010. And let's see. Rise is the second song on American Music Club's 1991 album, Everclear. And it's the first single released by the band. Okay, the single was released on Alias Records in the US. Okay, who cares about that? But 1991. All right, so I was absolutely uh, in the ballpark. Um, in 2015, Eitzel, and who is Eitzel? Is Eitzel the singer of the band? And if I go to Mark Eitzel, yeah, he was the songwriter and lead singer of this band. And what it's saying is that, uh, so he's saying that Rise was about someone who was dying of AIDS. Oh, wow a man, and I was sort of a primary caregiver for him. He was always picking on me, always on my ass, because I didn't know how to do the laundry for him. <laughs> but yeah, that was for him. It has a simple theme, let's not die. Wow. But the only rub was playing it live. It's one of those songs where you're trying to find the key in the emotion, and you have the loudest drummer in the world behind you. It can feel kind of dumb. As far as the writing, I just reflected the world as I saw it. There was a time, it took me years to get over it, when I saw a few of my close friends die, maybe within a year of each other. Wow. They died of drug overdoses, and then AIDS came. Wow. So for me, it wasn't quite survivor guilt, but maybe PTSD. And then here's the lyrics. The things you love don't give us too much hope. When you've lost your appetite and you're sick and tired, maybe what you need is some food for your eyes to make them rise. Wow. Wow, it's, it's interesting how a couple minutes ago, I was like how nothing really, I mean, this, this, the song was nice. Um, nothing really jumped out and grabbed me. 
these lyrics here because I was really paying attention to the music um, but reading these lyrics wow Roland maybe what you need is some food for your eyes to make them rise to make his eye make the eyes rise right because I guess if you're dying you know sunken eyes to make them rise wow uh, don't tell me how to tell the truth you're like a store that only sells guns and knives. Tell me how to make something beautiful. Flash before your eyes. Let them make you rise. It only costs a buck for three tries. Though money never buys enough of anything. And I'm a moving target trying to shake some lead from your eyes. Let them make you rise. Oh, wow. And then I'm seeing a picture of the video. I mean, if I click it on it right now, it will go. And it's showing a man who's showing a man who's sick. Wow. Okay. I'm definitely going back to the song now. And with the lyrics, absolutely, I'll be reading the lyrics as I listen to it again. Okay. Roland, thank you so much for this. Like I said, it was a good listen. And now I'm actually really intrigued. I need to go back. So who knows? This one may really grow on me big time. Uh, we'll see. All right, cool. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you think about the song. I mean, the reaction to the song. The folks out there who know this band too, let me know what you think about the song too. What is, What should be those other songs that I should be considering for this band? And in the meantime, I'll see every one of you on the next episode of Into the Music. Yeah.